Hello and welcome to this video on our new test management features in CodeBoomer 8.1.0. First I'm just going to create two system requirements and then derive and generate test cases from those system requirements and then execute them. So my first requirement is the device should automatically switch off after some time and then depending on some configurable data device should switch off automatically. I'm going to add a picture of the device here and now I'm going to create my system, second system requirement which is the device should measure distance more accurately than other comparable devices available on the market. Depending on distance and temperature the device should measure accurately. Okay, now if I go into my test coverage browser I will see that none of my requirements are covered. So now I'm going to go back and generate my test cases. Here I'm going to click on the plus sign and click on new test case. So what I'm testing here is testing automatic switch off. And then I'm going to define a few test parameters here as well. I'm going to insert a 2 by 3 table. First parameter is model, second is time. First model is T1 with 20 seconds. Second is T2 with 15 seconds. And I'm going to add my test steps. First step is going to be switch on device model. And the expected result is device is on, obviously. Now I'm adding my second test step, wait for time, and the expected result is display and laser are off. So now I've created my first test case for my first system requirement. Now I'm going to generate my second test case for my second system requirement. And here what I'm testing is distance measurement depending on temperature. I'm going to define uh, test parameters here as well. I'm going to add a 4 by 5 table. First one is model, second parameter is distance, temperature, and accuracy. First one is T1, T1, T2, T2. Distance is always the same, 20 meters. And then temperature is 20 and 35. And the accuracy is a little bit different here. So what is the allowed accuracy? I have the separate parameters that I'm going to define here. And now I can add my test steps to the second test case as well. So first step is switch on device model and the expected result is device is on. Second test step is measure distance And the expected result is accuracy. Okay, now I'm complete with my second test case. And now if I jump back into my test coverage browser, I can see that they're all covered, but they're incomplete because I haven't executed them yet. Okay, now I'm going to create a test set, which includes these two test cases. Then I'm going to add these two test cases into this test set. Here I can see the overview of the parameters that it's going to use, the test cases that I'm going to execute. And now I can just click on new test run. 
and I'm going to execute it right away. I can choose to run only accepted, the accepted test cases, but since none of them are accepted, I'm just going to run them all. Here at the top, I can see the test case that I'm testing and the parameter that it's using, so one of two. So I'm going to pass these steps. I can, choose, I can add a conclusion, let's say successful. And now you can see it's jumped to the second parameter from this test case. I'm going to pass the first step and fail the second one. I can report a bug if I'd like to. And up here you can see I've switched now to my second test case and my first parameter of the four. So I'm just going to run through all of these, pass everything. Now second parameter. Third parameter. And fourth parameter of the four. Okay, and now I can see the overview of the executed test set. I can see I've executed six test cases, five have passed, one failed. Here at the bottom I can see the test cases that I've executed and the parameters that they've used and the results. And then in the details of test results I can see the actual test steps with the parameters of the test cases and the results of those test steps. So this is a pretty detailed overview of what I've just executed of my test run. Okay, now I can export this to Office. I can do a simple Word or Excel export, for example. And here you can see in this document the detailed results of my test cases and of the parameters as well. Okay, and now if I go into the coverage of my system requirements, I can also then see one of them failed and one of them passed. That's because if one of the parameters fails, for example, then the test case will be failed. Alright, thanks for watching.